All right. Got two people watching. Welcome to the show, Box Hunt and Games. This is a trade day spot filler while trade day is in transition. What's up, Monkey King Metals? How are you today? Five people, all right. Starting to starting to wake up a little bit. Very nice, Monkey King. So, uh, what's your story recently, Monkey King? How are things going with your van? Um, are you still staying in the van? Do you have uh, good tires? Is it running? Uh, are you still working currently? What's the news, man? We haven't talked in a while. What's up, Kevin Hawthorne? Welcome to the show. I'm in a place now looking for work. The homeless program I'm with helped get the place. Van is still not running properly, but I'm hoping to get another vehicle with my tax return. All right, sounds like things are starting to uh, starting to move along in the right direction. Do a story on me at the Citrus Connection bus terminal in Lakeland this year. It's my 20th year. That's awesome, brother. Great work. Keep it up. He uh, passed away the night before last. Great Scott! What's up, Great Scott? How you doing, brother? Can't wait to hang out. June's getting closer by the day, but not fast enough.
I will, great Scott. Unfortunately, she just went to work at 2.30, which 30 minutes ago-ish our time. Absolutely, Monkey King. Jerry Wells, good afternoon. Welcome to the show. We got eight people in here uh, hanging out. Ten people hanging out on a Saturday. Welcome, welcome as everybody comes in and relaxes and hangs out. We are just filling in the spot for Saturday this week. Uh, they still had morning trade day. They'll have evening trade day. But as far as afternoon trade day, there is going to be a transition. We're not sure what all that includes yet. Um, there will be a different afternoon host. But we're not sure if we're going to combine the trade days or how that's going to work yet. I know that, uh, that the other, um, hosts and former hosts are getting together. They're talking some things out. And of course, we'll let y'all know as soon as we know. But we have half boxes to hunt. We have ounces for games. The, uh, Boxes are going to run as follows. For $50, you can get a no-frills box, meaning the only thing we are going to hold out of that box for you would be a silver or uh, up to three NIFCs or oddities. Keep in mind, anything after 2017 is not an NIFC. They started dumping them back into circulation by the millions in 2018, so... There's something to keep an eye on that. But when I say oddities, uh, I'm talking, you know, sticker coins and just uh, marked coins, things like that. You know, things for fun. For, we have a guaranteed 90% half dollar box. That's for $60. So, if we don't find anything other than NIFCs and oddities and stuff like that, then you would get a guaranteed 90% half. Guaranteed one ounce silver box, that is $80. And with that, you would be guaranteed one ounce of silver, whether you chose, whether you chose a one ounce piece um, or whether you chose three 90% halves or seven 40 percenters.
to to most jobs but got told that I won't get a job because of the vehicle situation yeah that definitely makes it harder So for those who are interested in running games or wondering what kind of silver you might get if you choose to get the $80 box, we've got approximately 38 ounces of silver currently. Now a couple of those are 5 ounces, so to get a 5 ouncer we would have to either run a four ounce game i never do that today would be special or we would have to uh, you would have to get four of the uh, 80 dollars boxes either one of those ways we would bump you up to five ounces but i can start showing them off we got this really cool Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to get used to where this camera's at now. The Hunter. It's also got the Buffalo on the back. This one says Texas Republic. One Nation Under God. We've got a couple of buffalo rounds. A little bit of different designs. This one's got some toning on it. We've got the debt slave from the Silver Shield, that's 2017. We've got several Texas Precious Metals, this one is 2013, and it's got Cowboy and the Horse and the Lasso. Come on camera, get some act right. That's why I don't really like using that camera that much. We've got another one from 2019, Obvious Toning. It's got the capital, the guy on the horse. We've got the Indian head with the radial lines, Obvious Toning. We've got Battle of the Alamo, 1836. That's going to be Texas Precious Metals, 2001. Y'all know I'm going to grab anything Texas I can anytime I find it. We've got another Debt Slave. We've got the Prospector, 1985. Crisp and clean. Ingle hard. We've got the Knight and the Dragon. 2021. We've got the A Mark rounds. We have the American Standing with Veterans, Air, Land, and Sea. That's going to be a really good one for a veteran or for the Wounded Warrior Project. We 
Got another Indian with the radio lines. This one didn't have any toning on it. What's up, AZ Coins? How are you? Welcome to the show. What is this? We got the... The Mayan with the calendar. Good, good deal. We got a 2001 Indian and Buffalo. What's up, Ringmaster Ray? We've been showing off some ounces here. We got quite a few. We got the Royal Arms. We have the Bull and the Bear. I have no idea what I'm even doing here, y'all. I haven't done a box hunt live, and I couldn't tell you how long. We got a year of the Dragon Bar. This is not a coin. It's just a pretty cool bar. We've got Indian Bar. We've got another of the Hunter. And we have two of these Indian bars, Indian and Buffalo. Oh, nice, Ringmaster Ray. All right, the coolest one ounces that I've picked up for this, we have the stars and stripes from the Golden State Mint home of the free because of the brave We got a really nice Superman. That's Nui 2021. Definitely one of my favorite of the Superman coin designs. And the Piece de la Resistance of our one ounces, the Golden Eye. Or 007, 60 years. Really awesome piece. Can't beat that. Alright, our two 5 ounces that we have. Have the Indian bar. And we have the big nickel. Five Troy ounces, Indian Buffalo. I think that one's a really cool piece. It is obviously toned. It's not a coin, so I think I would like to put some CL, CLR or something like that on there. Just to see how it comes out. What's up, Cap511? How are you? What's up, Coin Junkie? How are you? Welcome to the show. We got 13 people hanging out. Tell y'all what. Just for funsies. I'm 
Well. I don't remember why I marked some of these. Why would I have kept that? That's just a junky bicentennial. So I got a bunch of halves up there that are sticker coins or holy coins or ground coins. Just different things like that. All dented up or somebody beat on him. Let's do a uh, two minute chit chat. Everybody chit chat and we'll, uh, we'll send somebody out something for fun. Been in here 20 minutes, no actions. Let's just have some fun and give something away. What's up, new marshal in town? When you hear the sound, it's pencils down. If everybody could please stop chatting at this time. What's up, T? Welcome to the show. All right, last person on the wheel gets a freebie pick. Great, Scott. Thanks for playing. Yes, absolutely, Coin Junkie. They are all damaged. New Marshall, thank you for playing. Matt T, welcome. AZ, thank you for playing. Coin Junkie AG, thank you for playing. Come on, Cap, win this so I don't got to double up on the prizes. Ah, uh -huh. look at this. Y'all know I can't win. We got to run it again. 
Same players. Nope, just missed it, T. But we'll have more throughout the day. All right, new Marshall. Thanks for playing. AZ, thanks for playing. Great Scott, thanks for playing. Are you kidding? It's going to come down to the same last two? Fun Junkie, thanks for playing. Oh, Lord. All right. We'll play for three prizes. Cap, thanks for playing. Marshall, thanks for playing. Great Scott, thanks for playing. Yeah, it was just the people that were uh, originally chatting before we uh, started the game. Thank goodness I'm out of here. Someone's actually going to win this time. Coin Junkie, thanks for playing. All right. Great Scott. AZ Coins. Let's go. Didn't pull me. So, Great Scott, were you saying your name should have already been pulled? I'm confused. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right, so AZ Coins. Let me show you what we got here. All right, the sticker coins are the most popular, so I'm going to show you those first. I got you, Great Scott. For the first one we've got is Billy the Kid, and we got Elvis, and we got Change from Budget Tackle in Granbury, Colorado. And the rest of them after that are just kind of <clears throat> kind of silly. We got the Holy Coin. Got this one that's all toned except for that one little weird spot. We've got one that's all been beaten up. Looks like with a little welder's hammer. I don't know why I find that so unique, but I do. We have a proof quarter. It's not beautiful or anything. It was found in a box, but it is a 1991 proof. It's not silver. We've got the 314 represent. And we've got this one that looks like someone spun it around. 
and ground the edge off of it. All right, so you get to pick three. He wants Billy the Kid. What else do you want? Take all three sticker coins. You got it. Yeah, the rest of those are probably just going to get dumped in my next run. All right, AZ, make sure that you email me today. I'm not trying to do any wallets currently. What's up, Joey Brown? Welcome to the show. Proof 2016 have to. Alright. Alright, so if anybody is interested, we can pull a box for someone. There are three options on the boxes. I mean, there are eight boxes to choose from, but there are three donation levels for the boxes. We also can do games. We can do a one ounce game, we can do a five ounce game. If we end up doing a five ounce game, we'll run it for four ounces worth of spots. There we go. So we have no frills box for $50, which means you only get what you find. Now we say that as any silvers that you find in up to three NIFCs or oddities. Um, obviously anything over 2017 is not an NIFC. Starting in 2018, they started dumping them back in by the millions. For $60, you can get a box and get guaranteed a 90% half of choice. And for $80, you can get a guaranteed box with one ounce of silver. That one ounce of silver can be uh, either just a regular one ounce silver, or it can be three 90% halves, or it can be seven 40 percenters. And if anyone decides that they want to take four of the $80 boxes, they can get a five ounce silver instead of just four. Put the wrong button on the other side over there. So y'all let me know if y'all want to have a box search for you or if you want to play a donation game for ounces we got nine people I don't see us filling up much of anything but 
We are still hanging out for a while. See who's all on right now. Alexander Smith, Dimebag Coins, Nine Dimes, Sailor Stacking, Nitro Freak. So the only one that's actually doing anything for as far as buy, sell, trade, or auction is Silver Sailor Stacking. So we don't really have any any too much competition. Just not a whole lot of interest or support, I suppose. It's awful quiet out there in the world. What's going on, chat? Has everybody taken the opportunity to share us out anywhere you can? YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, which is X, uh, Threads, anywhere else I haven't thought of. See if I can go put some music or something on. Nobody seems to be in the mood for chatting today. Brazilian, country, dance, electronic, hip-hop, indie alternative, Latin, metal, pop, R&B, reggae, and rock. What's up, Siren? How are you today? Welcome, welcome to the show. Y'all let me know if that's too loud. World of make -believe. I think that looks a little too Kids loud from here. How about that? Is that better? Diane's fabulous. Well, it don't get much better than that. Cross out the ones who hurt my cries and watch me weep. I love <clears> everything. <throat> Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. Open the force reality. No, no. 
What's up, Kenneth? Too loud, too quiet. anybody's interested in a one ounce game let me know if anybody is interested in a five ounce game for four ounces with the spots if anybody wants me to search a box for them Giveaways, but we got to say a little action first. We got War Nickels and Buffalo Nickels. We got Silver Dimes. We got some 40 percenters, 90 percenter halves. Got a couple of quarters left. one for myself and see what it looks like. You won't let find out if we're going to have nothing in the 2023s, huh?
first box is no good. Looks like first box is going to be all 2023s. What's up, man? We just just opened up box one just for buns and giggles. It had nothing in it. Matt said he'll get a spot if anybody wants to play a game. What's up, Tom? How are you? Yeah, everybody can use some of that old mass stacker energy, that's for sure. more than welcome to come in here and hang out and watch and participate if you like. I don't have any kind of panel thing set up today. Although I might be able to figure something out here in a little while.
that would work better for that if y'all want to end up if y'all want to do games and uh don't want to hunt boxes y'all let me know what y'all want to do if y'all want to put a play a game put a one in the chat i know mad said he'd already be in on one What's up, Breezy? After me and Matt have both gone through, between the two of us, I guarantee you we've gone through 200 boxes. friendly channel I still haven't seen that to be a thing uh, be dubbed because they still come through two weeks ago we found 47 silvers they're still they're still getting dumped into circulation by people and I mean it's still happening they're just making so many more than we need I mean they're not intended for general circulation so why are they making them in the tens and 20 millions And this excuse about, well, you know, the banks want more because people are going through them. 
there's still plenty out there. No need to make them like this. It's a piss poor excuse to get us to stop hunting. Yeah, that whole no silver on the box, people open those boxes and find silver in them. It's just to discourage you. Yeah, uh, a lot of times, um, smaller banks especially don't have them unless other people turn them in. Got you mad. Um, yeah, the smaller banks don't have them unless uh, people turn them in to them. Uh, the bigger banks, they have to order them. And like Wells Fargo, being the crap company that they are, they won't order them for you. Even if you uh, start a business account, they won't order them for you. So far, luckily, Wells, I mean, um, Wood Forest works with me. We do got 34 ounces of silver on the table if anybody wants to play some games. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to hunt anything because, well, we don't have anything to hunt. Got a mix on the music.
loving people in the chat. Having physical money is, a, is awesome. And I really like that one right there. Big old chunky monkey. Big nickel. Five ounces of silver. coming in. Not sure really what's going on with it. Since I've come back, there's been no action on my side. Siren, I mean, it's kind of the reason that I dropped off in the first place. And I can understand, you know, on some nights when I'm going up against people who've uh, taken our idea and run with it and are doing bigger and better things. But like days like today when I'm not even running up against anybody. Negative energy, I expect it 
Once it's in your mind, it's infectious. So fight for your life and reject it. You better give me space, I'm protected. My adrenaline spikes when I'm threatened. And if you stay in my way, I'm aggressive. Cause when there's no legs, it'll kill when I'm desperate. We got six people hanging out in the chat. Thank you so much. enough to get a spot in the game. I'll we'll have you on there just in case it kicks off. <laughs> Breezy, me, does that mean that you want a spot? Be calling me, calling me. 
Alright, we got you. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think is the difference with some of us that have been around for a while? The uh, all the trade days are folding. My game shows are folding. We're getting uh, those of us who've been around a, a while seem to be taking a beating, but. Those who have, uh, I don't know, maybe we're just not as exciting. I think that's what my my thing is. I'm just very, very laid back, very chillax. I'm not. Woo woo out there and stuff like that. Yeah. Not that I don't love the exciting channels, I really do. Uh, I just, I'm not them. I can't be them. Now, I can't think of the last time I had 34 ounces of silver sitting on my table. There it is. Yeah. What's up, Daryl? Daryl, we do uh, currently have a game up if y'all are interested in getting in. We got some really cool stuff on the table. We also have a couple of five ounces that can be built up to. Lots of Texas pieces. We got some Silver Shield pieces. We got a Superman and a 007 60 years. Several Indian head pieces.
Unfortunately, I just don't think it's going to work out, y'all. We've been here an hour and 20 minutes. Hour and 20 minutes, and we've got three spots. We've been as high as 12 people. We've been down to six. Sometimes you just got to know when to call it a day. everybody to do some uh, chitting and some chatting we'll go ahead and do another giveaway we'll give away a cop rounds this time stuff to give away it's just hard to keep giving stuff away during our regular shows when we're not getting any participation I may try to go live on Facebook. If I can figure out how to make that work, I'll get more of y'all connected.
Morning, Darren. How are you? Yeah, well, we're closing up, Ike Squirrel. Hour and 20 minutes. The support just wasn't there, unfortunately. We are going to do a copper round giveaway, though. sound its pencils down if everybody could please stop chatting at this time Put yourself out. Like I said, we've been here almost an hour and a half, and we've never had more than 12 people, and we only had three people that wanted to participate. So here we go. Last person on the wheel wins a copper round. Expecting much, Ike Squirrel. Thank you, Breezy. Thank you, Siren. Girl. Monkey King, Daryl, good luck. Thank you, Daryl. Monkey King medals gets a win. see here. Alright, so we've got an NQS Indian. We've got the Standing Liberty. ASC style. And we got a flowing hair. Which one you like? Indian. All right. It's not truly in use, but it's the in use design anyway.
All right, Monkey King, don't forget to email me today, please. I'm trying not to do wallets, at least not currently. And I'll get those out in a day or two. Probably go out Monday. No, I squirrel. Uh, normally right now on Saturdays and Sundays, I'm working on my homestead. Or the place out there at my mom's. But uh, they're busy this weekend, so I just happen to be free while we are transitioning in between till they find a uh, new host for trade day. Uh, although, you know, the uh, support for the trade day system for all three shows right now is very, very slow. Very, very, uh, it, it's not doing a lot for the host or the community. So uh, I won't be too surprised if trade day goes away altogether. Uh, but you know, what can you do? Ike Skrill, it was failing. It was failing for six months when I was doing it. it. It doesn't matter right now who's hosting it. It matters if people want to come out and support it or not. And if nobody wants to sell and even fewer people want to buy, it's just going to be hard. It's going to be rough. And no one's going to want to do it for too long, and I understand that. I, mean, I did it for two and a half years. Uh, I can't say that's true, Ike Scroll, because there are still plenty of other channels where the games are off and kicking and the auctions are running wild. I can definitely tell you it's not just because of the economy. It has to do with the host and the hosting style. say they've lost 50% of their crowds but they're still killing it all night long anyway all right y'all everyone have an absolutely fantastic rest of your weekend if I don't see you between here and there I will definitely be back up in here Tuesday night can't wait to see y'all then everybody have a fantastic night and I will catch you on the flip side.